So, if a bad keyword can lead you to a good keyword, and a crappy little news blurb can lead you to a peer-reviewed scholarly article, then just think what a really good scholarly article can lead you to. Scholarly sources cite other scholarly sources. So chances are, if you find a good recent scholarly source on your topic, and you go to the bibliography, you will find a whole bunch more scholarly sources that you can use in your research. Really, this is not cheating. Check this out. I searched Academic Search Premier for vampires, and I got to a great article called Was the Vampire of the 18th Century a Unique Type of Undead Corpse? This is an actual scholarly journal article on vampires published in a journal called Folklore. Let's scoot down to the bottom. Check out this bibliography, source after source. We've got books, we've got scholarly journal articles, we've got chapters from edited anthologies, we've even got papers presented at the World Dracula Congress. I mean, come on. Now that you know there's such a thing as the World Dracula Congress, your vampire research skills will be revolutionized, all because you mined the bibliography of a scholarly source. But, getting from the citation at the end of the scholarly source to the actual source is a little bit of a different strategy. So that's what we're going to talk about next.